night skies over the southern Levant lit up in the evening of April the 13th as Israeli air defense system intercepted hundreds of drones, missiles and rockets launched by Iran, which targeted Israeli sites in the Golan Heights and two air bases in the Negev Desert. One Israeli individual was critically injured, while 31 others were treated for minor injuries. The attack was launched by Iran in retaliation to the Israeli bombing of the Iranian embassy in Damascus on April the 1st, leaving 16 people dead. The United Nations Security Council held an emergency meeting on Sunday, April the 14th, as a response to these attacks, where Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for maximum restraint and the escalation the between brink. the two countries. Madam President, it's time to step back from the brink. It's vital to avoid any action that could lead to major military confrontations on multiple fronts in the Middle East. Civilians are already bearing the brunt and paying the highest price. And we have a shared responsibility to actively engage all parties concerned to prevent further escalation. The attacks between the two nations come in the midst of humanitarian crisis in Gaza as the Israeli offensive rages on. More than 33,000 Palestinians and 1,500 Israelis have died since the wake of October 7th last year. These recent attacks mark the first direct conflict between the two countries since their proxy war began in 1985. Although Iran's envoy to the United Nations stated that their attacks have concluded, many continue to fear of the potential for further escalation in the turbulent region.